food music family and the culture of approach of talking hi guys welcome hi guys. back to our channel brazilian and filipino, filipino couple one more video here for you we are here because we are in our living room watching nino ray nino ray <laughs> Like, Nino Rai, yeah, very watch, uh, funny. <laughs> yeah, one of our uh, favorite, favorite YouTubers. And we yeah. always watch. He's so, very fam very shout funny. Out, shout out to Nino Rai. Say that uh, Brazilian and Filipino couple watch him always. Okay, so, uh, we bring for you, as the title said, uh, about uh, five things that my Pinoy husband don't like or like, we don't know, have his. Uh, he will comment about some uh, topics here from my my place that is brazil for those who don't know i'm a brazilian he's a filipino mm -hmm. he's living here for more than 10 years uh -huh. maybe it will complete uh, i don't know uh 12, 12 years, yeah years. no since no you came in 2011 first time uh -huh. and then after this you become a permanent resident 2014 Yes, so since 2011 is almost 13 years because mm -hmm. after this we go to we went to singapore these things but we always live here like you know anyway about our story uh, it will come it will come yeah. Yeah. maybe next video maybe next video maybe, maybe because we maybe. still have some vlogs to upload for you <laughs> five topics that i want to ask really gentle for my husband and he will explain to you his opinion about each topic, okay? So, let's get started. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you like this kind of video, okay? Okay, guys, so let's get started. I make it uh, topics. I already talked to Rico, of mm. course, for him to think what he can say about uh, each topic. And our first topic that Filipino loves so much mm. is food. food. Yes, Filipino love it. So we always post here in our channel about our recipes, what we cook here in the house. That is not only Filipino, not only Brazilian, but we always cook. So, Amore. Uh, the question is, Amore is how I call him, okay? This is our call each other. Um, <laughs> so, what is the, uh, I mean, what is the, what you think about the Brazilian food? First, no. What's the difference between Filipino and Brazilian food? Uh, as your taste, what you miss in Brazil that's supposed to be we have. Uh, talking about food, uh, there's a lot of things that uh, differentiate Brazil to us, uh, like a nation like me, no. Because uh, in Asian, normally the the base of the food. Uh, in our countries, like uh, with the soy sauce, these things, like adobo, like this, you know. Yeah. And Even the sisig, these things, no? Yeah, it's all, always with the soy sauce. At the same time, uh, since uh, we're uh, like uh, open open uh, countries, like we are uh, like uh, have uh, uh, like uh, different kinds of food that is uh, what is uh, what you call this, like uh, influence. Like American, you mean, you mean your country? Yeah, my, okay. my country, like this. So it's like you can uh, enjoy everything, like this, like the Indian food, there's American food. It is in your country, in my Atta, country. because mine, no. Yeah, in, in, uh, yeah, no, there's also no, 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 but this is another area, then not America, not India, no, ours, uh, Italian, uh, more, more European side, yeah, okay influence of uh, many many uh, countries like american chinese thailand is like everything there is like you can find while i can find here in brazil is like most prominent from them is like uh, like uh, they are influenced by italian in uh, uh, germany so the food here is like a bit limited but at the same time i also like because in some way there's a food that like uh, different taste different taste because yeah. because Rico likes not because because uh, more just one one mm. it's like this if Rico is re, is a really a Filipino that maybe don't work in the ship you will miss too much your food uh -huh. but since he also knows the food of other country mm -hmm. like in the ship because in the ship, you know, guys, it's like a multicultural. Uh -huh. So there is a many kind of dishes. 
Enrico already used to. So for him, it's of course much easier. Uh -huh, smart. Yeah. Understand? But one thing I love uh, about Brazil is about the meat because the meat. Ata. Okay, guys, if you don't, you didn't watch the previous vlog that we post here in our channel, it's about the kind how we serve the meat of churrasco, that is the barbecue and grilled meat from Brazil. It's like whole piece, no? Yeah, Big one. Here in the, is yeah. the, what I love here, no, the most yeah. so about the meat and the feijão. So the meat here is like here is a. A bit more cheap comparing like uh, in the Philippines. So here is like uh, most of the, uh, no, not most of, it's like a basic. Uh, it's it's actually it's everyday plate. Yeah, everyday yeah. plate for Not them. only and like and a pork, uh, chicken, no. Always we use the beef it's, itself. It's not cheap as chicken, but here is like you can, uh, you know, you can uh, afford to buy. Not like in the Philippines, it's a bit, uh, you know, a, I bit, don't know. A, I don't bit, remember. A, a bit expensive. So here. What I like is about the barbecue because me I like really meat. So here you can buy things that you know uh, really really good like you know like uh, this this year long these things that you can uh, make even in the house. Full hey, one, full big one, one yeah. yeah. The barbecue uh, the barbecue here is different. It's like in 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 my place in Asia, what they make the barbecue is like they put in the stick and then they grill like mm. this here. Like they, a small pieces. Like, uh, small pieces. Uh. Here when they make barbecues like the entero, it's like in, uh, entero is like the whole, the whole, uh, whole uh, meat. meat. So I really love because since I love too much meat, I really even my gout really attacked me. <laughs> Mail days. Uh, yeah guys, you are always advising us. Uh, like, Don't eat meat because gout. So here they grill like the whole uh, ribs of the the pork the the cow no pork no they don't the, the, pork, no. the, 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 the beef and the beef yeah the beef and then uh the the sirloin is the, that in the, the previous vlog yeah if you want to see we have a vlog that uh showing, we have actually many vlogs no many yeah, vlogs we did that, that, is, that is like a grill uh, they could make here in the they, house they call it here uh it's like barbecue but here is like grill the grill things is uh. like you only they only put like salt and pepper just to uh, to taste it, to taste it's like yeah. to enjoy the the, the the no tempero no no seasoning each yeah. uh, at all it's only really salt and pepper so this one is like uh i always like this for me it's like it changed uh my my, my your mind my my buds it's like yeah. it's like as a filipino if you miss adobo me, I miss this bar because it's not. Yeah, it's true, guys. Ningi, uh, no, 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 no. Fata. Eh, it's no like uh, he it, cannot. I cannot. I cannot. You I, saw the video when he just arrived from the ship. I have to like bring it's, him it's, straight it's, it's there. It's mouth, mouth and watering. watering. It's like, especially with this beef that is like uh, malpasado. It's like a. Uh, it's like a uh, uh, not uh, not well done. Not it's well the. Done. It's like. What's the name? Medium rare. Medium rare. Yeah, uh, here yeah. is like uh, you know. It's, he loves. You can see it in every corner of the every corner. of the of Brazil. Yeah. And one more thing is like uh, the one I love is like the feijão. It's like uh, basically it's like mungo in uh, but it's lentil. But here they have the black beans. But what the one making uh, putting the halo yeah. halo? We make it cook as well, but we put in the mungo mungo. Eh, no. Mungo in the mungo taste, but pero the. Uh, black beans. It's black beans, yeah. Yeah. So here in the South America, I have also they here the one. channel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like they put all the taste of uh, they uh, pork. put yeah pork of uh, they put the feet, the ears, and uh, also uh, all the ta uh, good taste of yeah. the, all together the with bacon, the beans and the bacon. The cooked the ribs, like the smoked so, one. So if you really taste. The beans is like mungo, but it's like too much taste of uh, pork. 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 That the uh, Filipino loves pork. Yeah. So. so even you put in the rice that even they put calabrese. You know? Calabrese, yeah. The, like, the, uh, like like the Lagnodisa from Brazil. The smoked one. Smoke, uh, uh, the smoke sausage. sausage that they put that only this uh, you can already put in rice. Yeah, in it. And that's it. Uh, actually, when you have uh, feijoada in, in the ship, Mm -hmm. Many Filipino things. Yeah, it's what you call feijoada. Feijoada. If they you learn. Want to research, yeah. research is like uh, this is the common food of uh, Brazil. Brazilian. This is our like this. Yeah. Okay, Brazil feijoada. Yeah. Uh, Filipino adobo. Eh. 
Brasil, feijoada. feijoada. So what's for you missing or what is really different, like the taste? No, because mostly, not mostly, no. Uh, Brazilian food doesn't have any taste of uh, like uh, what we have in the Philippines, that we have sweet food. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then this sour, mm -hmm. like the sinigang. Like the sinigang, oh my god. Sinigang and also like the sweet, like uh, this tocino, this mm -hmm. langonisa. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, at the first, she is uh, like, uh, she don't, I like, don't like because like for her, it's like sweet is only good for this sweet already, dessert. dessert. Yeah. And then uh, now I cannot, now guys, you see many videos now. Mm -hmm. I'm trying your langonisa because after uh, many times I was making diet, and then Rico arrived, he made the sweet langonisa that. My God, it's like eating with the hot rice. Mm -hmm. You know what's that? With the tomato and you know what's onion. that? It's like so good. So for me, I for my feeling, I changed this. Yeah. Definitely. And for you, is missing this, eh? Yeah. 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 Because our uh, telling you the truth, our basic oh our base of food, garlic, onion, and then tomato sauce. And no? tomato sauce. Yeah. yeah. In some way, out of the grill, out the out of so the feijoada. So let's go to the next topic. Next topic it's about the family. Uh, I'm gonna ask Rico about what he thinks the difference between Brazilian family, what he see inside the house he lives before. Me and him we lived before with my mom in the same house where my auntie always come, that is my tita, my cousin is always in the house. We have a dog together as well there, that is Ninoy. And we live for long years there. So, Rico, you tell us a little bit what he experienced here. About uh, family related, about these things living here, like about the friends and things. Like, uh, they're uh, like in families, like they're too much close. I know in Philippines there's also closeness about, uh, you know, when you talk to your mom, when you talk to your, your father like this, but them is like, it's different style of uh, like, you know, there's too, they're too much like, uh, you know, uh, family, uh, things like they can talk like for example her mom and uh, she's they, they they see each other every day no it's like but when they see each other it's like no stop talking it's not stop talking it's like it's always a topic there's always a topic that it it it, uh, it, it never stops ah, i understand wait guys it's like this he means me and my mom, we are together every day because uh -huh. we live before with my mom. Uh -huh. My mom passed now in 2020. And then, even though <laughs> we are together every single day, out of when I was on board of the ship, we uh -huh. have things to talk. Is uh -huh. this what you mean? Yeah. It's like the same as my auntie and my mom before. Mm -hmm. Like this, they see each other every day, but every time they have something to talk. Okay, this is your, your the way how you see. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else? And most likely here I see in Brazil is like for the family they are too much open. It's like uh, they say it's like they don't uh, take things too much inside. It's like what they think. They always already tell it's like I love you, I like this, like this. They don't keep it inside. So there for me it's like uh, it's too much, uh, you know. Open feelings. Yeah, open feelings and transparency. Like every day, yeah. I love you. Every Brazilian day, like is this. transparent. Like yeah, I know in some way that uh, uh, mom take care like this because I can admit that even though I have my family, there's like I uh, it's, 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 it's seldom I can I keep in here that uh, you take care or even you see each other's like hey, sicuida, take care means like mm -hmm. uh, oh like this that uh, i love you this thing so it's really they are really too much like uh, you know mm -hmm. but maybe because uh, it's like they're this. more vocal about their feeling yeah That's yeah it. <laughs> you think make, yeah. make, make it short we are they're, vocal they're too much vocal yeah. about their feelings we don't keep uh, like this i i gonna say only when it's birthday mm -hmm. i gonna uh, uh, <laughs> no uh, no it's like in then but also we have the other side now if we upset they're upset. It's like they're too much transparent. We talk it's already. Like not like a like a uh, Filipino that like sometimes even though it's like uh, <laughs> you're you're thinking about uh, him. That's like uh, I better don't uh, tell. Better not yeah. tell. Also, if you want to, uh, you know, tell something good or bad. Uh, can I make a pause? Mm. 
it's like this now. We have a lot of the friends from the ship that is watching us. Mm -hmm. So I know that who work with the Brazilians, they know how we are. Mm -hmm. It's like when we are happy and we want to do everything for you guys because we work there and we love you so much, we're gonna be very friendly. But of course, when we are also upset, they really be upset. We really be upset, upset, and then we don't hold ourselves. That's why I tell us they are too much transparent. Yeah. If some upset, upset. If this, uh, if they like, they like you, they like you. But you, you know, Pon you are uh, becoming like this, huh? Eh, but you are yeah. becoming like this. Eh, Rico, like, is like before he really mm, hold himself. Yeah. But this is telling you guys. Culture is culture is nice, yeah. is educated, is polite. Mm -hmm. But I tell you, you know what this can affect you inside. Mm -hmm. Understand? Of holding feelings like, of course you don't want to hurt the other. I don't ah! never think yeah. of this. No, in some way there's like a good thing and there's a, a bad, bad thing. Bad yeah, thing. yeah. For example, when you talk to somebody about that you don't like, you try to don't hurt the the next. Please, mm -hmm. we at least in our thinking is this because in some way we are Christian. I believe that, I believe, I don't do, I don't do, I never do, but I believe if you, someone is lapping my face, I'm supposed to be to give the another side, okay, this is my thinking, but I don't do, okay, I'm not perfect, but in some way, guys, also to keep too much, eating too much, and swallowing too much yeah, things can right. go to your feelings and like, can make bad to your, to your body, yeah. so you should talk. Why well, you can't like this? is like being because it's true, uh, the talking it's true. In between them now. There you get uh, even those like uh, uh, he's not close friend or uh, like uh, uh, Chipu new friend. It's mm -hmm. like when they talk, they just arrive. Just arrive. They They talk like this to you. It's like uh, they have oh, touching or touching and touching as well. They have yeah. this intimacy. Intimacy. We don't have boundaries between yeah, the body. Like, like, you can see that people like do this. Hi, how are you? How is like this? And no, no, like, man hey, to hey, girl. Like, like, but already touching. Like, Rico, hey, it's uh, like this. There is too much, uh, you know. Rico, uh, sorry, Rico is too much be because before in the beginning, Rico don't understand. For example, we are working. I just tell you one story. Mm. We are working one bar, me and Rico, and we have our boss. Our boss, that is friend of my mother, contract both of us. Mm -hmm. But Rico is just newly in Brazil. Mm -hmm. And then remember, he talking to me because it's noisy in the party. I'm uh, the Kaisha, the one who fixes the money. Rico is in a uh, bar area. And then he says something to me, but very close like this. And then Rico doesn't understand how Brazilian is close like this. If you do, you only like, I say, more, but this is how we talk. We talk like this, we talk touching, yeah. you understand? Mm -hmm. Even you don't know the person, you even give three kids, no? Yeah, three Or kids, only like, one. Yeah, also this oh, one. Oh, amiga! Yeah, like, we're like uh, this. One of, one of the gestures, like, uh, you know, greeting each other is like giving a kiss. Yeah, we it's, give a kiss, we don't give only like... It's like uh, Italian, no? Like hey, Italian. Ciao, it's like uh, giving like this. Uh, yeah, this it, is too much intimate. Yeah, it, it, even also from men to men, it's like they, uh, give, they uh, give a kiss. They give a kiss. Oi, Rico, tudo bom? And then it's like, also it's like, uh, even it's like your friend, it's like, not really, you know, they give you a kiss here, it's uh, like a sign of uh, friendship, they uh, kiss you like this. Uh, yeah, it's like you're my brother. Even, like, like even a, I have a like, friend's man. No problem. It's okay. like, uh, you know, mm -hmm. even a kiss is a sign of a uh, different thing of other nationalities. Like, uh, kiss is like... Uh, too uh, much clothes. It's like intimate. It's like, hey, uh, I'm your... Uh, but you don't think is this is more in Asia? Because what? in Europe it's normal as yeah, well. Yeah, well, that's what I'm telling you. Uh, uh, because you also was uh, like a person is like influenced with uh, this things of Europe, no? Guys, because it's like this, now let's talk the truth. Brazil don't exist. Brazil exists only 500 years ago. Uh -huh. Before Brazil is what? Europe, the old continent. Mm -hmm. So all the people who go uh, to escape the, the, the war mm -hmm. went to Brazil and discover a new continent. That is only 500 years ago. Uh -huh. So mostly of Brazilian is Portuguese, is German, is Italian it's and... Mixed. yeah. It's what everybody says now. You can, uh, you don't have, uh, you cannot find any Brazilian really 
original face. It's no. like mix. It's like there's Japan, there's Japanese, there's Chinese. It's like, no, the, the phrase is Brazilian don't have a face. Yeah, uh, there's uh, Italian, there's, yeah. you can see blonde, you can see black, you can see, uh, you know. <laughs> you know our joke now, our game? It's like, more. we are here now. It's, for example, we are in one environment, uh, one party, or one house of somebody. Then I say, Tamore, that one look like which nationality? Yeah. Now we are like uh, talking like this because it's funny. Brazilian don't have a face. No, no, no. This, but the original face of one who start here in Brazil is like Indio. Indio. It's like the Indian who make you know. But you cannot. It's too many years ago. Though. Yeah. It's like you cannot. I think Indio, uh, Indio, Indio. Ooh, yeah. It's like all over the the world, no? Yeah. Cara, they start the herb. It's mm -hmm. like this. But after this, look, I don't have any any face of India because the same thing that's why it's like a uh, remix my family no but maybe my family mm -hmm. didn't even mix it with the India mm -hmm. maybe my family come and then it start in our family you know yeah. I don't yeah. know something like this okay so let's go to the next topic otherwise you're gonna be too much you know for one topic only uh. so now is the next topic it's uh, what uh, music yeah What's, what's the difference uh, Filipino and Brazilian song? Oh, not only Filipino, but since you know the entire world, I mean, many cultures. Uh, as before, because in the Philippines, like, uh, we are more like, uh, you know, producing this like uh, OPM, what you call this, like original uh, uh, Filipino music, no? Mm -hmm. It's like there's like, uh, what you can say, uh, a how you call that instrumentals like uh, alternative this ah, okay, like okay. love song it's like but but since it was back within the days but right now since uh, philippines is like too much influence of uh, like many uh, different countries like sometimes it uh, the the original uh, music of the filipino is gone i think uh, it's like uh, since you have this one we have the mpb that is like a olha que coisa mais linda mais cheia de graça this kind of song is the mpb of brazil the original uh, brazilian song uh -huh. uh, the original that uh, filipino music uh, filipino artists who can uh who compose song but mm -hmm. because right nowadays like uh, since uh philippines is too much opens like it exists like American music, mm -hmm. this Latin music, mm -hmm. this like Korean music. It's uh, like sometimes it's like seldom that we can hear some original songs. Mm -hmm. So here in Brazil, as what I can see here, it's like they maintain their own uh, own music. Yeah. It's like every now and then there's always like here in Brazil, there's many kind of music. But m most of them, uh, the, the most famous one is Pagodi and Sertanejo and Funky. It's like three. Funk is like what they uh, always dance. It's like when they do like this in the, you know, showing the, you know, the butt, the butt like a bubble butt dance. And then they have this uh, Serranejo, what they call. It's like a country song that they country, dance. Country, yeah. They dance uh, with a partner together, mm -hmm. uh, with a partner. And then there's Pagoji mm -hmm. that they dance like a bit. Uh, Suave that with a uh, complete different kinds of instruments like mm -hmm. they keep their culture they keep this thing and in some way it's a bit sad because in Philippines it's like this one is uh, already like losing mm -hmm. thing but uh, I'm I'm I'm, I'm uh, happy also because right now it's like uh, nowadays it's like uh, they're they're producing more like of uh, original. Uh, Ta a Filipino question music. the the original can be the dilaw yeah and something the like dilaw the these things that she really love <laughs> oh, i uh, love this song this ah this is really like a filipino style yeah i like, love it's, it's this like, okay this bahala na it's like uh -huh. this uh also like uh marikit you love marikit <laughs> Guys, your beat is so nice. Mm -hmm. Maintain it. It's so nice and so uh, uh, dancing. We need to uh, no. love what we. Yeah, but can, can I tell you something, Amore? Only to make like a shortcut. No, Rico is true. 
Parodi, that is what Rico also loved to hear, Sertanejo, and then the Funky. This oh. is the three primary one that you like different three kind of style but you have uh, many kinds still now it's like now we have mtg now then we have the sertanejo that's the roots and then we have the samba that is the roots you know yeah, it's like they have, they the have a new generation yeah they mm -hmm. also have this samba mm -hmm. yeah it's like uh, they maintain their own culture and then they keep producing this kind of song that whenever you go, wherever you go, kinds of uh, bar or like uh, this kind of uh, pub, they always play these songs. Mm -hmm. Like only, only their own music. Yeah. But of, of of course, they're also open for this kind of like uh, in American music. This like techno. Yeah. If you go in some place, there's mm -hmm. also they're playing. But most of the bar, they're playing this thing, these things. And then it's like, it's uh, like uh, how can I say the there's the uh, beat. Not the bit of stuff. It's like a you like a unity. Yeah, yeah, like a unity. Of For example, the... that is the community of uh, the one who likes mm -hmm. only pagodi. That is the one who like mm -hmm. the Sertanejo because it's not a uh, not really common that who likes Sertanejo love mm -hmm. pagodi or mm -hmm. vice versa. Sometimes there is some people who prefer one. Yeah. Yeah. So this is what I can tell about the music. I would like guys really to put. For example, now is the samba. I put one samba only for you to see the beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I will do now for them. Samba. No, they deserve no. Uh -huh. They deserve. Okay, so now is the samba. I put. Now we put one pagodi. Only few minutes because of our. No, so you can see. It's like a bit more romantic, as you see. The funk is this. And then now you put the 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 samba you already put that is the roots of the pagodi. Now you put the sertanejo new. So you can see the difference of our. So for you the it's like I mean the 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 difference is this is the unity that the the the, the song is still bring. Uh -huh. And then that they we keep never producing, yeah, keep producing. Uh, yeah. They maintain the never end, no? Yeah, they, they maintain the the uh, what you call the culture, the music culture yeah. of, uh, of Brazil. Of Brazil. And then how you feel? It's like, for example, he's a Filipino and he go to Brazilian like uh, events with my family, with uh, friends. We always go. We go to one barbecue. We go sometimes to the birthdays. So what you feel when you listen to Brazilian song? Uh, it's it's good and it's also uh, you know you can uh, sometimes relate because it's a bit no it's a bit it's, a, it's, it's more emo emotional when they're happy they dance like also you know like certain issues like with a partner pagodis like with a partner as mm -hmm. well it's, it's, it's good it's good uh, to see this kind of uh, it's like you cannot stop moving yeah it's like and then everybody's like enjoying from the uh, from the old, old uh, Bobo. Uh -huh. no, 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 no. Ah, I understand, in, in, I understand. Like Lolo, they uh -huh. know this song. Until to the... Uh, the new, uh, new, the new generation. generation. They still dance, they yeah. do the things. Like, it pass. It pass. Through generation. Wherever you go, it's the same, you know. Yeah, if you go to a bar, like on live, they will sing the, the same songs. Yeah, the, everybody can, uh, you know, uh, how you say Sing. It? can sing and then the, they can connect with the with the music yeah so let's go to the next topic because this video is already long so we're gonna talk about so the next topic is about the culture in general mm -hmm. uh what's it's like your points not about family not about that your points about different uh, difference of our cultures like what you feel that is really it's like my god when i arrive here it's like no so it's really uh, different. one of the most powerful culture brazil has is about football football is the football is like is in their own blood it's like whenever you watch uh, one football everybody has their own uh, team even if you're they have a family as uh, like the sun have this kind of team this kind of teams because every state have their own team mm -hmm. so here is like too much like uh, you know uh, we we give our life yeah, it's like uh, everybody goes there, no matter what, if you're old, if you're young, yeah. if there's a, a football game, everybody goes. 
and at the same time also people love football here if in the philippines they have love basketball here is all about football but the question in even they love basketball in the philippines they give themselves that they are painting their face in the yeah. sta stadium yeah we do also do these things but only like in the championship but ah, here okay. in every game it's like they go paint watch. they paint the face they go, already went. They, they go they have this uh, uniform t-shirt like and all of all the years like release the shirt they they buy now huh? yeah also uh, they have these pants like all uh you know it's like a representative of your your uh, your own states like they yeah. go for they go solid eh, they go, oh yeah they go they go solid just... for like uh for example batangas i go for batangas eh. so like, here's every state is like this and then we suffer now when we go to the it's like stadiums. every day it's like traffic is always full it doesn't matter if it is like championship of or or, or only then regular or, or regular game. regular games gonna be always full also one thing i uh, notice here is like everybody's really playing uh, football that they also even uh, try to put uh, their kids to school yes it's a part of uh, it's like a part of uh, their uh, how you can say it's like this it's like a, for example i put my 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 son or do my daughter in ballet uh -huh. like only to make one uh, here sport is, here, here is football here is football it's, different girls huh? it's not a must but most of the people like dream of uh, their child is being a, a successful player yeah, football player so everything is like every saturday every sunday there's have their, this club mm -hmm. that playing uh, football every time but out of the kids that you put your own kid in the school there is also the the culture of every wednesday can be tuesday thursday whatsoever but every wednesday the men of the family for example me and rico we have we are now living with uh, our kids and then the men of the family will play football with his play right. soccer with his friends yeah it's like uh... this is already it's like this you mm -hmm. can count that's why i tell you guys in my previous video when i say about what my filipino husband have the difference why he's different in some yeah, points they, they will the principal is this for, yeah only for uh, for for their own team yes and then and then after the game that they play soccer for example they start seven o'clock they finish at nine and then they make the barbecue right yeah they make the barbecue among them the team with this uh drinking uh beers so yes yeah. So you can count that every Brazilian man mostly will play football in the night mm -hmm. of Wednesday. Okay. It's always like this. And one more thing is like not only football. It's like what I like also here in Brazil is like uh, everything has uh, always, uh, you know, uh, like party. Ah, yeah, everything like, is a party for everything Brazil. Everything is like, uh, you know, it's like not only for birthday, not only for Christmas, not only for New Year. It's like here is like it's always like all together for example for new year here everybody wears white oh yeah in philippines no no, eh, no not, there is no question costume there's no here ah, everybody okay. wears white if you they are already preparing their white dress yeah, from the children until the, they prepare uh you know wearing the uh, white mm-hmm uh, also here is like for example that is the that is the new year now then there is the carnival what's the carnival yeah also this car ca carnival is like uh, what uh it's like a two weeks two weeks of party oh yeah As it's like uh it's like it's never ending party <laughs> it's like every day drinking it's like every day barbecue and then the, the, like, the, the uh, family come like, to the house of yeah. those who have it's bigger house like two weeks of celebration that means uh dress as a uh, women and then yeah women dress as a man it's yeah. like uh it's but not only this that is the costume no and there's also a costume mm -hmm. that uh, every also state is like uh a like you know a competition i know oh. but this is one that is called a samba that yeah. we have uh -huh. here is like the school a uh, school of samba the only to to translate that everybody go in the big long street Mm -hmm. Chipu, they have the Sao Gueiro, they have the this one, they have the Rio one, they have from Sao Paulo, so they they compete. But mm -hmm. this is only like maybe let's say two days of the carnival. Mm -hmm. But out of this, the carnival is long uh, holiday of Brazil that we stay almost two weeks really enjoying. 
the family that lives in the far comes to the people who lives near in the beach or something everybody gathering together every night is barbecue mm -hmm. every night is dinner mm -hmm. together just it's to be always, together it's always a party yeah here in brazil it's like it's never ending party Saturday, Sunday. And then, for example, yeah, that, for example, like that is in, no party. If there's, it's always. <laughs> and they invented one party. They invented like a party. If you, uh, it's like, you know, if it is hoy fogo, if like there's. Fire? No, no, fogo. Uh, fog, Churrasco. No, it's like a off. Ah, if there is only one holiday, for example, in a week, public holiday. They put it uh, together. Two with days. The, two days to get until and Saturday. So Friday, for example, Friday so, is public holiday. Nobody works, and then it's already Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and then it make a long uh, public holiday. And then thing. for sure, ah, vou fazer show. Uh, then it's like this, huh? only speaking Portuguese, but translated to the English. Ah, Let's go. I make one barbecue there in the house. Aparece. It's yeah. like appear there on Sunday. And then everybody will go. You know, it's funny. It's nice. You're always the happy. The here is like what they say is barbecue. It's barbecue. barbecue. This is our pollutant. The uh, grill uh, beef. Okay. Out of the Brazilian football culture, party culture, what's the next that you find like, okay, we already talk about food, we already talk about family, but I mean... What else? Mm. Like in the house of a Brazilian, maybe what cannot miss in and the what, daily no, basis? Here in the daily basis, here in the night they are not used to eat dinner. Ah, yeah. Here in the night is like uh, most of them are only drinking. Uh, for them, uh, dinner is like only about like uh, coffee. Yeah. yeah, they drink uh, like uh, uh, when it's time of for dinner. Not I'm not telling all now, but most of them. Mm -hmm. The, the but uh, okay, let's say that for example, we drink our uh, for example, it's like this, guys. Only to resume what he wanna mean. We come from the work because everybody works. Maybe only me and Rico we are like this because uh. we work in the ship, so we don't have the routine of Brazilians. Mm -hmm. But for example, they arrive six, seven o'clock in the night home. They always gonna bring a hot bread that we call the French bread. It's like a baguette, but a small one. Baguette. Uh, that we call trigo, baguette, whatsoever. Mm. So it's the pound de trigo that you bring. What's it's gonna be the, in the table? It's the kind of style of pan de sal. Pan de sal, yeah. Uh, but bigger. But, uh, but it different. Uh, kind of bread from, uh, from Brazil. Brazil. And then what's gonna be in the table? It's gonna be ham, cheese, and then some maybe langonisa, like a salami. That is the, 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 the smoked one, uh -huh. sausage. This is gonna be their dinner. Mm -hmm. If the person don't want to eat that, for sure, for sure, or they will request pizza, mm -hmm. or that is already the dinner, or they will go for hot dog, the, the one in the, you know, state hot dog, not American style, the Brazilian style, very big, full of things, that's going to be also their dinner, or it's going to be like the burger, Brazilian style, that's going to be also the dinner. So guys, it's like Brazilian have the regular meal during the, the 12 o'clock. Yeah, in the midnight, the, rice, the, the, meat, yeah. the salad, and the but thing. in the night you cannot then count. They, they it's always only, bread. They only cook, uh, you know. Bread. They, they don't cook. It's like only light. Yeah, because nobody really go to to dinner. Only few few people who, for example, I make too much lunch, mm. and then I keep it, and then in the night I hit. Mm -hmm. You know, this we also do. But for me, no. No. For me, I always eat. You know, an Asian is always an Asian. Yeah. I eat uh, rice. Yeah. So in, when he see that I'm too much tired and uh, he wants like to eat something, yeah. he say, just make like a, a egg and a langonisa for me, no? And then rice. Yeah, yeah. Because sometimes they only order pizza. Yeah, for it's, me it's already dinner. Yeah, most of Brazilians like this. It's either a coffee or a pizza. They mm -hmm. order pizza mm -hmm. and with the salt oh, thing okay, and everything. that's it. Mm -hmm. But for me, if uh, they order pizzas like this, I already also thinking about eating rice what in the night we, because yeah. it doesn't fulfill me because it's like what I'm already used to. Mm -hmm. For example, if we go to a uh, uh, day barbecue, he eat only the meat. Sometimes they have the lunch or everything. But for example, it's 7, 7 p.m. Rico is already hungry of his own food, food yeah. like the rice, the Filipino food. In some way, he and never noodles, changed. Noodles, he so always wants yeah. also noodles. the Asian food. So Guys, so is... supposed to be we make it five topics, but we take it longer, uh -huh. too much talking, so we make it four topics, so don't be too long for you. 
Uh, I hope you enjoyed this kind of video. Don't forget to subscribe here down below. We are really thankful for your support. All Filipinos always here. Rico, it's very yeah. happy with the channel, right? And also, uh, mind also if you can uh, relate also of the the Filipino, I'm calling there for uh, their experience in the other countries. Yes. Like in, uh, in the Saudi Arabia, in, mm -hmm. the, uh, in the Lebanon, in America, Some in Japan, other country, in Thailand. Yeah. And, uh, uh, make a comment down here below so Please. we can also uh, relate to your things. So what's the difference of, of the country since you, you change? Uh, also from Philippines. Yeah, from, from Philippines. So, yeah. you know, so we can, uh, you know. Just uh, exchange experience. Experience. So yeah. it's nice to have you here. We, we just want to thank you guys because you support us. We hit more than 30k here yeah. in the YouTube. And we are so happy that I it was so support fast as well because there's more things to, to come, more things to come because it's it's gonna be a surprise because I don't want this. It's really a surprise for you guys, though. Yeah, the next video, mm -hmm. the next video we gonna no the the real surprise is not gonna be for now, but we are gonna bring many new new chapter of mm -hmm. our lives that you, I, I we want that you follow mm -hmm. but guys that is one news that we want to tell you but it's not gonna be this video okay so i hope you continue here with us just uh, uh activate the bell so you can receive the notification of the next videos and we're gonna show uh, we're gonna tell you the news that we have here uh that just happened to us and we want you to be part of it so Thank you so much thank for you so much. thank you for your patience. Thank you for yeah. watching, and I hope you guys keep continuing on watching us. Yeah, thank you so much. Until next time. See you. Bye Ciao. bye. Bye bye.